definitely does not forecast this. <laughs> a lot more snow here this morning. You can see how much it's buried down in the night. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Back out with Kay. How you doing? It's been a while. Happy New Year to everyone, all the subscribers, old and new, and it's great to be back out. Those who follow me on social media know I've really struggled over this period. I've been trying to get out literally for oh, for the past two weeks. My bag's been packed every night. I've set my alarm every morning. I just couldn't get out. So it's a weekend. Me and Kay had planned this in, and we've come out to beautiful Snowdonia. You may recognise that behind me, Trifan. Been up there many times. Um, and we're going to go up to the Glitterow. You can see I've got a big backpack, so yes, there's going to be a wild camp as well. I can't remember the name of the path, but we're going to take a path kind of along the side to get us up onto the Glitterow, and we're going to just have a look up there. Nice chilled hike. We'll try and get to Castle de Gwen and just have a good mooch round. I've got some new gear to show you. Not necessarily I got for Christmas. I've had this for a for the last couple of months, but more towards my winter gear, as you can probably see, slightly different attire. I've got a brand new head torch from Trustfire, which is brilliant. They sent that out to me. And that's going to be um, one of my main head torches. I've got two, a really lightweight one, and that's a really powerful big light. Um, so that's going to be coming on my camps. Brilliant for winter. We're back out in the Fial Raven Abisco Light 3, and it's going to be a cold one. So I'll bring you with us as we head up into the hills. Well before Christmas, at the end of November, it was my last video, Helvelin with Kay, where we ha camped on there, which was epic. I'll leave a link above if you want to watch that. And I've been waiting all year for winter, you know, all my gear I've bought. I'm always geared up for the cold, I absolutely love it. Just found I couldn't get myself out. I watched a cracking video by Stephen Reed. Again, I'll link it in the description below. And he's just talked about sad syndrome. At this time of the year, you lose lack of motivation, you sleep longer, it's hard to get out and, and things like that. Admittedly, I've been suffering with that. As you all know, I'm really passionate about hiking, love it. You know, can't wait to get out. And when I get out, I absolutely love it. But at the moment, it's felt like, like I need to force myself to go out. I know I'll enjoy it. I want to do it, but I just, I just couldn't. So my advice, if anybody else is in the same boat, it's easy to say, just get out and go. I know how difficult that is. What you need to do, go with somebody. Kay wanted to go hiking and camping and she loves it as well. So we were still faffing at half 11 last night and I was trying to decide where we were going to go. Um, if I was on my own, I wouldn't have gone. So now we've come today, I've come out, I feel perfectly normal, back to myself again, already. We've not been walking long, but this is all it took. So thanks to Kay for, thanks to I say dragging me out, but I absolutely love it and I'm so glad I'm here today, but I'm back. This is the first of many. Uh, once this comes out, it probably won't be out for a couple of weeks after filming this, because I want to get out a little bit more so I can get back to releasing a video every Monday evening for you. Anyway, let's stop waffling. And let's get up this hill. Ooh. Taking off my down jacket. Four clad down jacket, great one. I have got another one with me as well. I brought two today again. If you're here in the background, what you'll see now is just heard some water as we was walking up. I don't know what the water sources are like up here. And we are not making the same mistake again like we did on Hellbellin. So I brought plenty of water bottles today. I've got a one litre Nalgene. Kay's got my all one, 600 mil. Had that for years, it's great. But Katadin reached out and they said, do, you want, do I want a bigger one? So they sent me two one litre ones, which is fantastic. We'll fill up, filter our water, because I'm not sure what the water source is like up there. So this is my new filter. Same as the other one, but I've got the, I've got the black one and the clear one, but one litre. So just a little bit better. And then we just top that up on there. Good to go. Yeah, look at that. Hate carrying the weight, but perfect. Lightweight Nalgene bottle. Right, we're all topped up with water. I've got one litre water in my Nalgene bottle, and I've got my Catadin B3 filter filled up as well. That's one litre, so I've got two. Okay, he's got. What, one and a half litres, but she's also got a litre of, um, 
a bottle of wine for later. Get in. The rule is, if you carry it, you drink it. Is it balls? <laughs> I said this before on those heights, don't worry about the weight of your bag. I want to put it on this morning, I thought, my bag was 12 kilo, that's without water. But bear in mind, I have all my camera equipment, you know, I obviously have this, I have my phone, I have my battery banks, I've got my pocket three in my bag as well. It all adds up. But now I've got, I'm two litres heavier than I was before, which is two kilos. Bag feels fine. Absolutely fine. So let's get going into the clag. Yeah. He said it was going to be sunny. Lying bastards. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'm not sure if you can make it out, but these are waterfalls, but frozen. Which is looking pretty cool. You can tell it's cold. Yeah, it's clagging in fast. Hopefully we'll get above this or it'll go, but I'm not too sure. Those views, I promise you, Kay. You always promise the best views. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the views last time on Helvellyn were epic, so you can't moan. Right, come on. That bit. You got it? <laughs> the water? Yeah. <laughs> you made it. Always oh, spread out your water, kids. <laughs> My backpack feels great now, and I must be at 14 kilo now. No problem at all. I'd love to show you the epic views, but there isn't any. We've just cut across. <laughs> A little bit off, off piste, which is always fun. Who wants to stick to the path, say? So we're just going to wing it through here, cross this stream, little places for water, and again, make our way <laughs> either over or around here. <laughs> but we'll find our way. <laughs> you enjoying it? I'm loving it. Did I say earlier on we were close to the top? We're not. <laughs> just got a lot of climbing now. As you can see ahead of me, we've got quite rocky, know, quite plenty of ice on the floor as well. Enjoyable though, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice and chilled. Can't wait for the snow. Not great when it's icy because it's just slippy, but when it's thick snow. The ice is beautiful though, it's just so dangerous. It. Keep coming up, keep up, keep up to the side here where there's no. <laughs> no, this is nothing like Trifan. <laughs> Stay on the grass if you can. That's it, you carry on. Go on, I've got you. There you go. <laughs> and off you go, up you go. Go that way, I'm just going to go up there the grassy bank because on the grassy bank you got lots of grip and keep making our way up we've kind of made it to the top of that section now so it's pretty flat got to be careful of the ground it's pretty boggy but i found what looks like a kind of path Kay's very nervous thinking i don't know where i'm going but i do we're just going to follow this listen you got to believe in me <laughs> or believe you <laughs> yay <laughs> I'll just flip the camera around to kind of show you what we're looking at, which isn't much. What I'm kind of hoping is, I mean, it looks like it's going to be clagged in now. When we get higher and we get onto the top of the glitter owl, that on the other side, it may be clear, you never know, or the clag might be being held back on this side, or it might be across the whole range, who knows. We don't need maps. And what I'm doing, by the way, I'm not looking at my, when I'm looking at my watch, you can say have the red behind me is where we've come from. And all the dotted bits are just paths and things. I haven't actually plotted this route. You know what's going to get us through today? What? Not maps. Not GPS. <laughs> just pure enthusiasm and positivity. Kay said before, Chris, you need to instill me with some confidence. I'm worried. <laughs> but it's all right. I know what I'm doing. Kay, as if you needed to be worried. Look at this. A marker. Woo! <laughs>
my jacket was getting so wet because it's kind of raining a little bit. I had a little um, down gilet that was on top of my bag, a rab one, obviously, <laughs> and that was a bit wet. So what I've done, I've just put that underneath this to dry it off a little bit. And then I've got this on, which is Pertex, and it's fine, it's windproof, so I feel just as warm, if not warmer than when I had my down jacket on. If I was anything were to happen in the mountains, you are not going to miss me. Oh, come here. And this is the downside, you see, so we're going to have to get Kay a nice bright red or yellow jacket, but you need to be bright. I mean, she's got a yellow down jacket, but not that anything's going to happen, but it's nice to have your bright colours, because then you're seen. So people take the piss because I'm always in orange, but... I have orange because it's bright. I used to always wear grey, black. Um, yeah, you've got to mix it up. We'll get you a nice bright top. I also need a another waterproof jacket, purely for the sake of, I can't wear orange and orange. <laughs> so I'm probably going to get another pair of these pants in a different colour because they're fantastic. I have no idea what they are. I bought them ages ago, but they're really, really good. Dead comfy. We're going to get up here and scout for a place to pitch, I think. I know of some flat spots just before Castle de Gwent, Castle Gwent, whatever it's called, Castle in the Cloud. There's a nice flat bit of ground there. It's pretty exposed, but we'll have a look to see if we can find something else. I love this. This is what I wanted, a bit of snow. <laughs> We're just short of one of the summits, but look at the nice flat patch here. This is a potential place to camp if we need to find somewhere. What you can't see, and what I'm not going to go over the edge of, I think this is the side of, of like Bristol Ridge and stuff, and that there should be Trifan. I'm going to pin this location, and if we need to, we can come back and pitch here. It's a bit rocky, but I'm sure we get the pegs in. Do you know what I've got in my car as well? Delta pegs. Left them in the car. They would have been uh, ideal. But I have got my 9-inch MSR carbons, so they should be all right. <laughs> but yeah, let's note this. Let's note this location because that's a potential spot to come back to. Yeah. That's it, keep going. That's it, straight through there. Straight up to the right of that. We're up top. Got glitter fact behind me, which we're gonna go up to, but we're just at the canter leaving out. It's a bit icy to get on there, but I'm gonna see if I can get, on, get K on there. But I'm gonna tag glitter fact next, then we're gonna try and find a pitching spot. This is glitter fact 994 meters. Yeah, First it's... class that has done. I've been up here before, but I don't think K doesn't need to touch the summit of that. It's just there's no point. I think it's just it's just not worth the risk. And we've gonna come back down again. It's only you're only a few meters from the summit, so that's kind of tagged. Now this here. Just just to the right is Castle de Gwent and I'm going to have a little look round here. I'm hoping there's a little spot round here where we can pitch up. And if we can, it's a little bit early, but we might just pitch up. Pitch up. Do hot drink. Steak. Yeah. <laughs> they ruining what we're having. <laughs> no. Yeah, we've got our dehydrated meals, but we've got a fillet steak and some couscous as well. We've got some red wine, coffee. Woohoo! I've got red wine. Yeah. <laughs> See if there's a little sneaky little spot around here somewhere. Right, we found a spot. It's not ideal, it's a little bit early. I'm hoping people don't walk past. It is what it is. So what we're gonna do is just clear a little bit of snow if we can, just so it's a little bit of a better base for the tent. See, we're absolutely freezing now. I can just hear some people, so I'm just gonna see where they walk. People walk, you see, between this bit up here. Hopefully they don't walk down here. There's not, there's a few footprints, not many. We'll just do one of these. Oh, right. That actually took, <laughs> put the tent up and down about fucking five times. Could not get it pitched right at all. I had a nightmare with it, but it's done. Now we're gonna get in the tent because we're freezing. Right, I'll bring you back in the tent. <gasps> What a nightmare. The inner got detached from the outer somewhere in the middle. So that means when I was setting it up, it just wouldn't set up straight. It's still not great, the tent. The ground sheet is all over the show and it's flappy on the outside. So yeah, I've had a nightmare. 
and I had to lie down under the tent outside and I was trying to clip the inner through these the smallest hoops in the world and my hands, oh, I'm not joking, absolutely freezing and burning. So we're in the tent now, it's so much better in here, it's warmer straight away. YouTube, do you like my Christmas present? Yeah, look, I got Kay some nature height booties and pants. <laughs> Highly recommend. Yeah, I don't have any, so I'm just sat on my sit mat at the moment, just keeping warm. So once Kay sorted herself out there, nice and warm, I'm going to get my sleeping bag out and get that sorted. Now, sleeping bag wise, on my Helvellyn camp, I was cold. So what I've decided to do this time, I've not got a new sleeping bag yet. I've brought the same sleeping bag and I've brought my Ice Flame summer quilt. I cannot wait for that. <laughs> so I'm going to take some of these layers off get my got my revolution race waffle top and bottom which will keep me nice and warm and then set the sleeping bag up and then oh let's get a brew on Woo! what i wanted to quickly mention was the uh the flex tail pump some people don't like this and some people prefer the x uh, tiny pump x2 so tiny pump x2 has its place for me i'll never get rid of that i absolutely love it doubles as a light and flex tail were kind, kind enough to send me one of these now when i had it this was a good few months ago now early in the testing stages I thought it was really good. I had a few problems with it. You know, you can't charge it by USB and you've got to use a battery for it. But it annoyed me really with the battery. So I give that feedback. And then by the time of release date, they now ship these with still a battery in it. But the battery itself has a USB-C port on it. So it's perfect. So basically you charge this up. It'll pump your mat up about 20 times. No problem at all. It does it quick. It's small. I've got a little light that I use in the tent now anyway, which I actually prefer. It gives off a little bit more light than the than the other tiny pump. So for me, this is perfect. Some people are giving it a little bit of flack online and they don't like it. But personally, I think it's great. And I've been using this now for two, two months, two and a half months, something like that. But I just thought now I'm ready to talk about it and do a little review. So yeah, it's great. Basically just slots on your pad. Uh, press the button. Makes a little bit of a different noise to the other one, but it pumps them out really quick. And that's all you need. If you do run out of battery, it just screws apart, take the little USB out, take the little uh, battery out and plug the USB-C cable in. Perfect. So today I brought, we brought the big boys and I brought the MSR wind burner. So we've got the beast st the daddy stove today because we're going to be cooking some steak in a bit and we wanted a more stable base. And we brought the four, the four pronged, um, attachment as well for the uh, for the stove i do have the three one which is a bit thinner but brought that um what we got shows the food favorite both it's got the same for me yeah and then later we've got Ooh. garlic and paprika fillet steak with sweet chili couscous can't wait for that so we've got our brew we've got our food in our sleeping bags just keeping us warm Are you okay yeah Struggled a little bit, haven't you, in here? Felt like we had more space. It's weird how small this feels now. Yeah. After Helvellyn does it. Mind you, we've got like double the kit. Yeah. We've got so much more kit with it being cold. Maybe I need another new tent. <sighs> I've just been saying as well, I really fancy a Hilleberg solo for when I'm on my own, just so you're not worried about, you know, easy pitching and stuff like that. So we'll see. I'm not going to keep waffling in the tent for ages because it's very dark. I know you can't really see much. But I just want to say thanks for Kay bringing me out. Really glad to be out again. First camp of 2024 and it's a cold one. I've just come out to see if I can tighten down. Oh, please. We're having a little bit of an issue with this bit of the tent. I don't know what's going on, why it's so saggy. It just doesn't seem high enough. Tighten all these guy lines. Nice and tight. Ooh. And again. <laughs> Trustfire, who were really, really good company. They reached out to me and said, Would you would you like to try one of our lights? I use the Nightcore NU25, which I love. I also use the Sun Blesser head torch, which is like a copy of it, and they won't mind me telling you that. If you were gonna get a lightweight small head torch, they're brilliant. You can get them on Amazon and things like that. But 
trust fire also do a really really good range but what i found or what i couldn't find is one with a red light and for me that's essential so i chose this one it's quite a big one it's a solid it's got a really good head strap it did have a bit that goes over your head as well but i took it off but this is amazing so now i'm going to be rocking two head torches It'll, i'll have a super lightweight one and i'll have this perfect for winter it's got a red light and a white light and some extra features as well so you've got four normal settings and then you've got i think you've got two or three different brightnesses of flood light you've got a flood red um another red and you've got an sos as well so yeah really really impressed with it it screws open and it's got a battery in it and you can charge it on i think you charge it on usbc but i'll check that I may have a code for them as well. If I have, I'll put it below, but they're on um, Shopify and that's probably the best place to buy them. So I'll find a link on there. I'll add it below. I think I've got a code for like 10% off or something like that. But, but if you do buy one, use the code, no kickback to me. It's just a code for you guys to get it, save a little bit of money. I absolutely love this and you'll see this on plenty more camps. It's about half past six. And I think we're going to have a cheeky snooze. It's half past six. What time do you think it was? <laughs> it's about 11 o'clock. <laughs> no, it's 18 minutes past six. <laughs> so it's a, this is the thing with winter camping. It's a long, long night. Let's get pissed and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we've got some wine and things. So again, we're just going to have a little sleep now. Maybe an hour snooze. We're both nice and warm now. I'm just... Um, and then get up in a bit and we'll make our, uh, make our steak. Looking forward to that, are you? Yes. Steak and wine. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Steak and wine, my guy. But for now, that's us. Peace out. Right, so this is the new stove, the fire maple. Here's the steaks, already seasoned. We've got two of these. And also a new spatula. Sea to Summit. I can't remember what it was. I got it on eBay. Brand new. And then it slides up. And I've got my little titanium fork somewhere as well. And now we just rested the foil over the top of the steak just to let it sweat. What I picked up on AliExpress, I picked up some of these, and these are two plates. I've also got two cups and two bowls. I've not brought them. They just squidge together like this. They fold together. Just to create a little, little plate. And again, so once you've eaten in there, they just open out and they're easy to wipe clean. If you wanted to chop your stuff, when it's open, you can use it as a little chopping board. The cups are quite good as well. They're quite, they've got a small base and they come quite tall. Or the bowls, I like the idea of the bowls, so you can just empty everything in there. But yeah, these are gonna be our, uh, our little plates for this evening. <laughs> right, this is just a quick film before, uh, before we eat our tea. Non-stick pan, just give it a little wipe out. Absolutely perfect. I'm gonna say, here's my steak. Look at Kay's. Turn it, turn it round there. Look at that. And then we've got our couscous in there. There are wines. We've got one of those each. We're gonna have those now. Have our meal. Get some sleep. And we'll bring you back in the morning, or unless something goes seriously wrong in the night, which I hope it doesn't. But yeah. <laughs> which I highly anticipate it will do. Say good night, Kay. Good night, Kay. Good night. Good morning from the glitters. Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> but it was actually not too bad. It was very blustery. The tent was all over the show and it was freezing. Wrapped up in our bags, we were nice and warm. Slept well. It's probably about nine o'clock, to be fair. We're just tidying up most of the things in the tent now. I've packed my bag. Kay's just putting everything in her bag. We're just going to get all sorted and then we're going to make a couple of brews and then get outside. It's snowing. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, so we opened the tent this morning. Obviously still white outside. You can't see anything. So look, you can see all the ice on the tent here, but we actually cleared off all the ice this morning, thinking it would uh, it would help, but then it snowed, so it's all back on again. I've got my rad pants back on, which are a little bit damp. Uh, most of my other tops I had in the bottom of my sleeping bag, so they're not too bad to wear. I did bring some waterproof pants, but Kay didn't bring hers, so Kay's using my waterproof pants. And I'm just going to put these orange ones back on. They're a bit damp, mm -hmm. but I have got my Revolution Race waffle pants underneath to keep warm. Nature hike down pants and booties, highly recommend.
very toasty. Great thing about these, Primer Loft. Now let me show you. You bang them on. Oh. Welcome to the Winter Wonderland. That was blustery last night. Look at this here today though. You can see the tents looking a little bit of a mess. This is coffee, by the way. It's not what you're thinking. <laughs> we had to pour it out this morning. A lot more snow here this morning. You can see it. You can see how much it's buried down in the night. But look at it, look at it out here. Now, when I planned this camp, it definitely was not forecast this. <laughs> Look at it. So what we've got, I'll tell you where we are now and what we'd, we would be seeing. Right here now somewhere, just, just not too far is Castle de Gwynt. And then again, just, just over that way is Glidderfac, Glidderfour. I can't remember which one it is. And over here, right in the distance, would, would be the Snowdonia range. So that was a view we would have had, but obviously we can't see anything. I look ridiculous today. Head to toe orange. I've got um, quite a few layers on. I've got a long sleeve base layer. I've got a t-shirt. Then I've got my Revolution Race waffle base layer. Then I've got my uh, <laughs> Rab Gilet. I've got my Rab really nice warm jacket underneath. And then I've got my Montane waterproof. But it's look a really, 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 really nice spot here. I'd definitely come here again. But the awful job I've got now, darling, will you just pass us the, the cloth? Yeah. We'll pass it underneath here. Yeah. So the awful job we've got now is to put it all away. This is always the tricky bit. But as I've shown before, these, amazing. We had it in the tent. We've used it all through the night to get off the condensation. But you can see here, look, just so much ice. But considering the tent wasn't pitched very well, it's done well. It was windy in the night, but again, no problem at all. It's just obviously a bit of a nightmare with condensation, but you're going to get it this time of year. There's nothing you can do, nothing you can do to avoid it. Even if nobody was in the tent, and you just left a tent standing, it'd still get condensation because it's going to be warmer on the inside than the outside. So the only thing you can do is manage it as best you can, leave your vents open and periodically through the night, give it a wipe. Even our inner was a bit damp on the inside, so I had to keep wiping it down. So I'm going to put the camera away for now. Let me tidy up some of this while Kay puts her stuff away. Everything else is packed in my bag. It's just a case of throwing this tent into its dry sack. The trick is with these, once you've taken one out, use your peg to get the rest out. So I'll show you what I mean. There you go. And again, and loop them on, a little bit like knitting needles, hang them all on so you don't lose them. So I'm going to go around and take out, I'm just going to leave the four corners in and take out all the other pegs for now. Best thing to do is always push your poles through rather than pull them out because they just get detached then. Right, so as you can see, tent's completely fat, but I'm still pegged in in the four corners. Take two of the corners out. And then hopefully, As long as you don't let go of it, you're all right, but this will get all the crap off. I'll 
Okay, hold, hold it, right, hold it down. That's it. It's always a challenge putting your tents away. Normally I would just wipe it all down as we go, but no chance of that. Let's just get it away. Yes. to go Whoa. it's coming down that snow it's, it was it's full of ice full of snow in there yeah, no, it's on the other side of it, it? wow so that's all we've left just a little bit of coffee there Absolutely perfect. Yeah, do you know what? The difficulty in today is to find the way back. I've plotted a route back, but the challenge today is obviously going over all these rocks. I'm not 100% of the way back, if I'm dead honest. We've kind of got to go this direction. We don't want to go back over the Glitterfack, whatever it's called again. That's it. And away we go. Yep, let's get to the flat. As you can see, it's a little bit different to last night, but this is what it's all about. To be fair, this would have been a quite a good place to pitch as well. It's quite flat round here. <sighs> Great, isn't it? So we're just going to keep following it round. We're going to have to stay on the rocks a little bit. Maybe we'll go to the left there. Yeah. You got it? At least I'm taking you on a nice adventure. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we wanted, an adventure in the mountains. Oh, poor Kay. Kay had a little slip and banged a shin. So I just need to be a little bit careful. Right, Bambi on ice. But just think of the difference from the camera last night. There was none of this snow up here then. Just little bits. So out there over the ridge, that's where you've got Bristly Ridge just kind of over there. And obviously you've got Trifan, but you can't see anything. We've got the big cairn to know which way we're going. And next, it's going to be a case of making our way down there. But just look at this. <laughs> look at this environment. We do these everywhere we go. <laughs> <laughs> see the blood we've seen a few of those we've seen like a bit of a trail just keeping our eye out for it because obviously someone's hurt themselves there's another one coming up which i can see see what i mean keep seeing loads of this uh, we have just seen four lads coming up past us and we saw a, another couple a little bit higher up as well so there are other mental people out as well i don't think any of those camped <laughs> get you down to this bit Again, look, I mean, look at this here. It's kind of really sprayed out as well. But on the way down, again, we're just going to be, keep our ears open, keep a lookout. I keep looking down on the floor to see where the where the blood kind of starts, but funnily enough, I can't see any of it now. So maybe they hurt themselves there. And if that was the case, this person's hurt themselves on the way up, not on the way down, because we're not seeing anything further down here. We're okay, that's the main thing, looking after you. I know you hurt your shin before, how's that? It feels like it's gone far. <laughs> <laughs> it's just opened up in front of us and you can finally see where we're heading see we couldn't see any of this yesterday it's nice to have a little bit of flat ground now and we're going to go around to the left and we're going to make our way down into the valley again just come down off the ridge and we're making our way this is the way we came yesterday over the top and as you can see eventually this is our path down here that we need to get back to all the way back but Kay doesn't like the drops it was fine yesterday wasn't it but when you can see I know it's worse so you stay on the inside take our time on the inside if you watch all my videos and you watch the camper van videos you'll hear Kay burping all the way through them <laughs> and it's what she does when she gets a bit scared of the drops which should be fine we're going to put the camera away so we can guide her down and then hopefully we'll get down to the path nice and quickly <laughs> pardon <laughs> this 
you want me to just have to climb down. Look, you see how frozen it is, all the steps here. Let's just come down this. But yeah, just get around to the gravel there, get our way down and get on the path. It's great, I'm amazed how clear it is now. I mean, I can see it's still towards the top, the clag rolling in. I don't know if you can see it behind me the top, but we're off the main bit now. Just a few slippery stones and things to contend with. I have to say, this, this camp's been everything I wanted from it. I was really annoyed at the, the Abisco Light 3, how it struggled pitching it. I don't know what was going on with it, but I'm just guessing it was because it was un it was some of the bits had come unclipped inside, which made it difficult, but I don't want that nightmare again next time. Kit-wise, to be fair, my kit's been... I've been happy with what I brought today. Kay definitely needs some, some new kit. Jacket, pants as a minimum. But apart from that, actually, my kit's worked pretty well. These pants have been great. I've had them for, say I've owned them for like six months and I've never worn them because I bought them in bloody orange and then I thought, which I thought was a great idea at the time and realized most of the things I wear are orange. It looks ridiculous, but it is what it is. But the, the best purchase by far out of everything I bought has to be these boots. Honestly, I should be a walking sponsor for Adidas Terex, and I swear I'm not sponsored. Everything I've got, I've purchased myself, but they've been absolutely amazing. They're not a new model. They've been out about a year and a half, I think, and they're the Adidas Terex Boa Rain Ready. So they've got like a lovely fleece inner, really warm. Um, I wasn't sure if I'd like the boa. The boa means the clip and the tightening of the laces that, that you twist. And I must admit, when I first got them, I thought, mm, I don't know if I'm going to like that. I think I prefer laces. But it's a game changer. The boots are so easy to get on and off. Literally, you just pop it open and they come out straight away, which is great when you're in and out of camp and in and out of your boots. And once they're on and you're tightening, locked in, super warm, super sturdy. And the best thing is, even though they look bulky, they're light. They're not like a traditional boot, so they're quite a light boot, but solid. So I highly recommend them. They have little, like a little ridge on the back, so I think you'd be able to get crampons on them as well. But that's all I need. Super, super impressed. And I think I only paid £90 on eBay. An absolute steal. Someone was selling them, brand new, never used them. It's starting to snow again, isn't it? Starting to come in again. But it's nice, I don't mind a little bit of light snow, we're all geared up for it. And you know what? I'm actually going to end the video here. It's only a walk back to the car now, you've seen all this on the way up. So I just want to say, massive thank you to Kay for getting me out. It's been an awesome camp. I will try and get back to my weekly videos. As I say, this one won't be out for a couple of weeks after filming, because I want to get ahead. I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you've learned something. If there's anything you'd like to see on the channel, or where you want me to go, or gear you want me to use, drop a comment below and I'll see what I can do. I've still got my Southern Cross 2 that I've not been out in yet. I bought that a couple of months ago, so I'm dying to use that. If anyone's getting rid of a Hilleberg solo, let me know. I'm definitely interested in one, ideally in sand. Please subscribe if you're not, by the way. <laughs> um, doesn't cost you anything, it's free, and you just get notified of any new videos. And for all my existing subscribers, thank you. Lovely to see the channel, the channel grew a lot in December. Loads of new subscribers, so thanks for coming. Apologies if I've had to wait so long for a video, but now they're gonna be back to a regular thing. So it's bye from me. Bye YouTube. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.